Hi, this is Jay, uh, Jay Crater, and today's video is called Driving for Both Uber and Lyft, How to Manage the Apps. So, this is kind of a unique situation. You may be just Uber and you may be just Lyft, so this wouldn't really apply to you. But if you're like me and you want to maximize how much money you can make, you want to have both Uber and Lyft running at the same time. So you're, you can be an Uber driver and a Lyft driver at the same time. So the way that works is you're going to have, I have an iPhone 6 <clears throat> and um, I have both apps. So I have the Uber driver app and I have the uh, Lyft app. And you want to have them both on at the same time, uh, ready, ready to ping. Now the other app that I always have open is my Pandora app. So I always have music playing um, through my car as well. And once either one of those ping, you're going to hear a sound. Okay, you're going, to, you're going to be notified that somebody wants a ride, whether it's from Uber or from Lyft. The first thing you want to do is accept that ride. And within the next second or two, you want to shut down the other app. <clears throat> okay, so you want to go offline. So for example, if I'm driving and I suddenly see a, a Lyft request, I generally will pull over um, so I don't cause any, any accidents. Um, pull over as quick as I can. I will then accept the Lyft ride. I will then uh, click on the um, Uber app and I will go offline. Okay. You want to get offline because you don't want somebody from Uber requesting a ride and you're not accepting because that's going to hurt your acceptance rate. Okay. So that's very important as quickly as you can. I got stuck a few times because I forgot to shut down the other one. Um, if now let's just say you're driving and, and Uber uh, pings you. Accept, right? Accept with Uber. Immediately go to the Lyft app and and, and go offline okay and go offline so at that point you're just going to go pick up your pick up your person you're going to take them to where they're going you're going to you know complete the ride and then bring back up the app that you had shut down so you have both both running again and it's a simple it's as simple as that um, just drive and, and just wait to see which one pings first and obviously you're going to get more business this way because uh, if you're getting Lyft pings before Uber, that means you know, you're off, off getting money sooner than if you just had Uber by itself. Plus, you got, you got more opportunities to get tips with Lyft um, than you do with Uber. And in my case, uh, Lyft pays uh, more, 25% more uh, than Uber because I signed up after November 4th. I made some videos about the difference between Uber and Lyft. Now, I believe in short videos, so I'm gonna stop here. If you're thinking about driving for Uber or Lyft, please use my referral codes. That would benefit me and, and benefit you as well. Put some money in your account. And um, I've got a, a link to my website with a whole bunch of other videos. And if you do use my referral code and you want to ask me questions, um, you, know, you can access my, my email address. And I'd love to communicate with you. Let's create a community and make this a win-win experience uh, for all of us. So this is uh, Jay uh, saying I'll, I'll see you on the road. Bye for now.